Welcome to Rian Mommy's Kitchen and Gardening Show. Let's see what all the ingredients we need. We need igni rice, urudal, mixed millets, sagu rice, methi seeds. seeds. So now we are going to soak all the ingredients into water. But first, let me tell you what all is in the millets. I have mixed three types of millets. They're all in the same proportion. One kg each. I mixed pearl, little and kodu. 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 Also in Tamil called Varugu Sama Kambu. Kambu. <laughs> now we're going to put all the ingredients into the bowl and then after that we're going to soak it into water. Whole bowl with water. Now I'm going to put this down on the counter and let all the ingredients soak for four to five hours. The key ingredient for this uh, recipe is measurement. One cup of urudha is equal to one and a half cup of igli rice and another one and a half cups of mixed millets. Mixed millets. And one tablespoon of Maybe seeds and sagu rice. Now that the rice has soaked for more than um, five hours, we are going to grind it until it becomes a smooth batter. So first, take a long mixy jar like this so it's very easy to grind. So for this measurement, we're probably going to do batch by batch. But first, fill the rice until it's half of the mixy jar. Then. Close the lid. Now grind it until it becomes a very smooth batter. Now I'm going to check the consistency of the batter. Okay. Wow, well, it's a little grainy. So I'm going to mix it one more time until it becomes very smooth. Now I'm going to check the consistency of the batter one more time. To see if it's smooth enough. This time it's smooth. Let's see. Oh, now the batter is a little grain free. So we can transfer into this big bowl. Now we have grinded all the batter. That's all the batter. See, it should not be too thick and or too thin. It should be in medium consistency. So now first add salt, a little bit of salt, mix it in, and then after you've mixed it in, uh, leave it onto the counter for 7 to 8 hours. After this process we are going to leave the batter for fermentation for 7 to 8 hours. But if you live in a cold place, leave it in the oven. Okay, so now we are going to place the batter into the oven. Since it is night time for us, we are going to place into the oven because the house will be a little chilly at night. But if you're leaving it in the daytime, then you can leave it on the counter. If you, if you let this batter fermentate, then your idli will be so soft and your dosa will be crunchy to in one batter. I'm going to leave this for overnight, so tomorrow we'll see with the fresh igni. So, finally the fermentation has been done. Let's see how it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh. Wow, it has rose rising double time. See all those air bubbles in the batter? That's what made it to rise. The fermentation made the batter to rise. Foam jelly. So now you all know how the batter is supposed to be. So now we can put a, the batter inside the igli mold and scoop it out. Put it in the igli mold. Don't overfill the igli mold. This should be enough. Just 
one scoop at a time. Okay, so to bake the igli, you need a vessel like this. You can either pour hot water inside the vessel or pour normal water and let it boil in the high flame. You can do either choice. But after you've done that, you can put the igli mold inside. Mommy? Water. Maybe in seven minutes we are going to get a soft and super oh. igloo. Sit down. Ah, baby. Sit down. Okay, now exactly seven minutes is over. Let's see how the igloo is. Wow, it looks so soft and puffy. Do you know what's in that? Chicken curry for dipping. Finally, our igloo is ready. I'm going to show you how soft the igloo is. See, when you hold it, it's like so soft. It's crazy. Wow. You can't even tell if it's a multi-grain igli. It looks like a normal igli. Okay, now I'm going to taste the igli with a chicken curry. Let's see how this tastes. It's hot. Wow. That soft igli just melted in my mouth. It was like so soft. The texture of clouds. I hope you all like this video. Try the recipe and give it feedback. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe my channel. 